Hello and welcome to my channel, Planners by Christine. I'm so excited to bring you this tutorial today showing you how to create a lag-free planner. Now I'm not talking about exporting from Keynote to PDF and then compressing it. I'm talking about the file that initially comes out of Keynote as a PDF instead of being something like 200 plus megabytes, being something like eight megabytes. It's amazing. This is something I found so frustrating as I was creating planners that I thought were fairly simple planners, yet my files were huge and I had all kinds of lag. It was so frustrating. I could not find any information anywhere. So I just started experimenting and playing around until I figured out what the problem was. And I was so excited. I was kind of doing a happy dance. I was so excited to know what the problem was and to have solved it. And so I want to create this video to share it with you so that you can avoid that frustration. Now today I will be doing this technique on my MacBook Pro, but the same technique works on an iPad. And in the future, I'll have a tutorial to show you how to do this on an iPad. So please subscribe to my channel so you'll know when that's ready and let's get started. This video assumes that you understand the basics of creating a digital planner. And if you need some help with that, make sure and watch my basic digital planner creation video and that's where this planner is coming from. This is one that I created during that tutorial. So the problem with the large file sizes or the, what causes them is all these layers. For example, you have these three page layers and these three page layers, and we have the layer with the rings and the layer with the tabs and all these layers just add up to a really large file, especially when you are duplicating pages because you need so many daily page spreads and so many weekly page spreads. So the solution that I found after much frustration and a bunch of trial and error and digging around and trying to see what worked, I finally figured out is to just have a picture of this and a picture of this and a picture of this and a picture of this as our background rather than have all those layers. So there's going to be two keynote files. There's going to be our one that I kind of call the template and that's the one I'm in right now. And in that one, I have one master slide, and this is what it looks like. It's just a very basic with a blank paper. And then in the regular screen, I duplicated that. And on top of that, I built my daily, I mean my monthly look, my weekly spread, and my daily spread. So I have those three. And so the next step then is to go to File, Export to Images, and we're gonna go ahead and export all four of those. And we'll leave it as JPEG high quality. And I'm gonna press next, and I'm going to export it. And it's creating those images. Let me just go into that folder. It's right here. So you see I have these four images and they're just images and the file size isn't too terribly big. So the next step is to create a new keynote file. So I'm gonna go up to file, new, choose my presentation, create. I like to set the size to be the size of my iPad Air, which is 2360 by 1640. And I'm doing command A and then delete. To make that blank, I'm gonna change this to 50% so I can see it clearly. And then I'm going to create my master file. I need to click edit slide layout and this brings up our master file. And I'm gonna do command A, delete. And I don't know why these yellow lines are here, but I'm gonna to toss them up and get rid of those and get rid of all these others because I don't need any of them. So I have these two blank screens. These are both master slides. So I'm gonna come over here to color fill, choose image fill choose and navigate to where I have those images that I exported. And I'm gonna go ahead and select one. And then let me duplicate this because I need to have three because we have, all, we have, we need a total of four because that's how many images we exported. So then I'm gonna go to this one, color fill, image fill, choose and bring in this image, go to this one and choose this one, and then over here, color fill, image fill, choose, and then choose the daily spread. So now we have these four different files. They're just images though, they're not the stack file. I can't make any changes to it. If I wanna make any changes, I've gotta go back into the other keynote 
I have to come back over here and this is where I would make changes because this is where I can actually do things. So that's why I call that my template file because that's where I'm creating the templates that I now use over here and I'm just using these images. Let me go and change this to master monthly weekly and daily. All right, so I have those four. So I'm gonna press done. And then I'm gonna add monthly slide. I'm gonna delete this because I, I don't want that one. So now I have this monthly slide. Now, because we're gonna need to create links, we have to create a blank or a, an empty box on top of these boxes so that the link can be tied to that. So I'm gonna go up to shape and get this square, put it on top of it. I'll make it a little bit smaller. And if you hold the shift key down while you are moving it, it will keep the proportions. And then I'm going to go over here and say no color fill. So it's just a blank square. And then I'm going to copy and paste it. Command C, Command V, put it over here. I'm going to hold down the Command key and choose both of these. Command C, Command V, copy and paste them over here. Then I'm going to do three of them. Copy and paste, bring them over here. And then I'm going to go through, I'm going to copy these, the whole, all seven of them to all of the boxes. So now all of these is where I can tie the links to. Now I need to do the same thing on the weekly spread. So I'm going to actually just copy and paste one of these little boxes stretch that out and have it fit over top of this box. Copy and paste that, move that down, hold down my command key and choose both and copy and paste. I like to use, I like to utilize copy and paste as much as possible to save so much time. And then copy and paste this last one. So now all of the boxes, all of the places where we need to have links are have a place where we can create a link. Now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the text for the month name. So now this month is ready to go. So now I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to do, I'm actually going to highlight this and do command C and then I'm going to hold the command key down and press V 11 times. So that there's 12. Then I'm going to go through and change all the months. All right, I've gone through and put all the months in. So the next step is to bring in our weekly pages. So I'm going to come down here and add slide, choose weekly, and we don't have to do any changes to this. There aren't going to be any links on here because it's an, an undated planner. So there's not a way to, to link these to any daily views because we don't know what day this will be. So I'm going to do command C, command V, and do 10 of them. And then I'm gonna hold, select one, hold the shift key down and select the bottom and do command C and then do command V uh, five times, which gives us 60. So we have 72, the 60 weekly spreads plus the 12 monthly spreads. Now I'm going to add daily. And again, there's nothing here we need to do anything to or to create any links to. So I'm gonna do command C, command V, I'm doing 10 of them, holding the shift key down. That's 20, 30. Okay, so I have 35. And now I need to grab 35, that group of 35 and copy that 11 more times so that there's 35 per month for 12 months. So I've got all those. So I'm gonna do Command C and then do Command V 11 times. So our total number is 528, which is the 420 plus the 60. Oops, I think I didn't do enough. Let me do, let me do the math. The 420 daily spreads plus the 60 weekly spreads plus the 12 monthly is 492. Oh, I did, <laughs> I did more than I needed to, it looks like. Let me back this up, go up to four, delete those. Okay, so we have 
492 is what our total number of slides should be. Okay, so now that we've done that, we need to do a little bit of linking, hyperlinking. The, the, most of the work that we did was in creating all of these pages in our template keynote file. Then we just grabbed images of it and brought that in. I'm gonna go to my edit slide layout. I need to come over here and I need to create monthly, the names of the months for the tabs. So I'm gonna come over here and do that. Let me change the font. And then I need to go to arrange and change it. And then I can drag it over here. And I'm gonna sp spread this a bit so that it covers that whole thing. And I'm gonna use my, the keys on my keyboard to nudge that over a little bit. And then I'm gonna go through and I'm going to copy and paste and do the whole, do all 12 months. All right, so now that I have all of my months here, I'm gonna go through and do the link. So I, I highlight it and I do Command K and slide one is the default and that's the right one for January. Command K, slide two. Command K, slide three. Now that I have, now that I've linked all of the tabs, I held the Command key down and selected all of them and I'm choosing group. Now I'm gonna go I'm selecting the group, Command C, and I'm going to paste it on all of these. And press Done. So now all, however many slides there were, 400, almost 500 slides, they all have links to the months, to the monthly spreads. So our next task is to link our weekly spreads. The first weekly spread is slide 13. So I come over here, Command K, slide 13, Command K, slide 14, etc. Once we're done with that, we go on to the daily. And the first daily is 73. So we come up here, Command K, 73, Command K, 74, I'm just gonna do a few, of the, a few of these, and it's not a shortcut, unfortunately. But what I do when I've finished the whole month is I come back when the whole month's done and all the little arrows are on all the squares, I come back and I just check each one and make sure I have all the correct numbers in the right order and I didn't skip any or duplicate any. So 73, 74, 75, 76, and I just go through and I double check. So once you've done that for all your months, oh, and another thing, if you go to the very last square in December, if you've done it correctly, this one should match the number of the very last daily spread. So that should be 492 when you get to December, to the last day of December, this should be 492. And if it is, you know, that's another indication that you did all the numbering correctly. So once you're done with all of that, and I'm gonna do Command S, cause I like to make sure and save from time to time, you can also add other things, like if you want to have other things in your planner besides your weekly and daily spread, you can come to the last page or wherever you want to put it and add your master and then just build on top of this. If you're not going to be doing a bunch of copies, if it's just like a grocery list, for example, and you're only going to have one of them or a couple of them, it's okay to not have an image in your template keynote, but to just do the blank page and build on top of that, that's fine. It's not gonna make your file huge. It's really all these layers that made it huge and we already took care of that. So I'm gonna go and delete that because we don't need it. So now I wanna show you the difference in the size of the file because the file that I created when I did the tutorial on creating a basic planner, when I exported the PDF, it was 211 megabytes and it's basically the exact same thing I just did. It has the months, it has our weekly spread and it has the daily spread. So it's exactly the same thing, exactly the same number of links I created. So it's basically the same thing. I did change the color because I decided I wanted blue, but it's exactly the same thing basically. And it was 211 megabytes. So let's see what size this one's going to be with this method that we're using. So if we go to file, export to PDF,
And this one, I can already tell it's gonna be smaller because it's zipping right through it where it took like two minutes yesterday. And the PDF is 8.6 megabytes. So it went from 211 megabytes to 8.6 megabytes. On top of that, you can use a website like I love PDF, I think it's called, to compress it even more. It might take it down to six megabytes. Your planner is gonna be lag free. So I'm excited to share this because I was pretty excited to figure it out because I was getting so frustrated. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Why is my file so huge? It doesn't have to be. If you use an image instead of the actual layers. So if this is a video that you found helpful, please like it so that other people realize it's a worthwhile video. And I hope you subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna have other helpful videos. In fact, you can do the same method when you create planners in the iPad and I'm gonna have a separate tutorial on how to do that. So thank you for watching and I hope this helps you.